What is up, shipmates? Hot on the heels of the Tier 10 Russian cruiser Smolensk, we're taking a look at another Tier 10 work-in-progress cruiser, this time the Colbert. Named after John Baptiste Colbert, Minister of Finance under King Louis XIV during the 17th century. Colbert was an actual ship and was designated an AA cruiser when launched in 1956. Later in life, she was converted into a guided missile cruiser before decommissioning. For a time, she was a museum ship in Bordeaux from 1993 up until the point she was scrapped in 2016. So let's talk about the Colbert. First, some stats. She's 36,100 paper-thin fragile hit points. And I mean fragile. This ship cannot take a beating, so do all you can to avoid taking fire. Terrain and sneakiness be thy friend. The ship boasts 16 127mm guns. The layout is very similar to Atlanta. You won't get a full 16 on target, though. Base firing range is 15.5 kilometers, and reload is 2.6 seconds. Yes, you heard that right. 2.6 seconds. Eh, to clarify, that's what mine is at, and I'm running the reload module. Top speed with Sierra Mike's is 34.6 knots, even faster when you punch your speed boost consumable. Turning radius is 620 meters with a 7.4 second rudder shift. She's a pretty nimble little minx. True to her real life counterpart, the AA capabilities on this ship are pretty potent. I would not try dropping on it. Lastly, concealment is 9.8 kilometers with camo, concealment expert, and the concealment module. For your consumables, you have the option of defensive fire or hydroacoustics. You get engine boost and heal as well. You'll want to take main battery mod 3 for your reload boost, which is what I'm running. For my captain skills, I just borrowed my Henri Commander. It works, though not completely ideal. I've got IFHE combined with Demo Expert on mine with Adrenaline Rush, which is a pretty good fit for this ship. However, I'm not running BFT or AFT. Either of those will help both your range, reload, and AA capabilities even more. I would be less concerned about range though. Your shell arcs are pretty floaty, and out past 16 kilometers, you lose your effectiveness, in my opinion. So let's talk about the Colbert. I liken this ship to an A-10. She's capable of producing a steady stream of shells that are excellent for harassing the enemy. She brings the Burt. However, when comparing her to the Smolensk, she requires a bit more of a firm hand. The lack of smoke for this ship means that you'll need to rely on terrain, map position, and overall ship awareness. When I said she's fragile, I wasn't kidding. She gets rocked fairly easy, and your heel isn't Royal Navy heel. For this reason, I think Smolensk has better survivability overall. I wouldn't say it's the better of the two ships, though. I just think Smolensk needs a little less skill to handle, mostly on account of its smoke. Obviously, Colbert will fare better on maps with a lot of islands. Less so on wide open maps with little concealment. Fortunately, you have speed boost which will aid you if you're in the open water and need to make a fast getaway. In more than a few occasions, speed boost has saved me both by messing with the enemy's aim and getting out of detection range quickly. So now for the important question. Is Colbert fun? And would I recommend it as is? Yes indeed it's fun. Any ship that compares to an A-10 is fun. This thing lays down a fire hose of fire producing HE. She is however a little more map and support dependent than Smolensk. Don't forget she also makes a good support ship, and when teamed up with a battleship you make a lethal combo. Providing AA support in this ship is not a bad thing to do, and I've shot down over 40 planes with ease in Colbert. As for whether it will remain as is, I think this ship has a better chance of making it into the game untouched than Smolensk does. Her reload is blazing fast, but she's very fragile and dependent on smart play that capitalizes on terrain. This isn't everyone's playstyle. Overall though, I'm looking forward to this ship. I imagine she'll either be released for coal or steel, which seems to be the currency of choice for tier 10 premiums right now. Let me know what you think of the Colbert. I'm interested in your opinions. Thanks for watching. Zoop out.